What's up everybody? It's October 29th and I'm taking my first trip out to this stand today. Yep. I've been slacking off, haven't made it out yet this year. Really been trying to see what happens if I <clears throat> just leave this spot alone. It's a very small spot. Wanted to see if I'd leave it alone, if anything more comes through. Um, got a nice eight pointer average for the average for the property. He's not a, not a giant, but um, he's definitely the biggest one that we've seen on camera. He's got a big body, so hoping to see him tonight. <clears throat> also got a doe tag in my pocket for out here. So got to drop a little one off at grandma's house, and then I'm going to head in. We'll see you there. So it's about four o'clock, uh, October 29th. Been, been in the tree for about an hour. Had one pheasant walk up. I just swore as a 250 pound man. Anyway, we got a south wind, which is in my face, pushing back into the woods here. It's not, not ideal, but this little farm only has so many access points, so doing my best with scent control and uh that's all i can do so we've had some decent deer walking through here on on camera uh one nice eight pointer and uh several does got a tag for both so we'll see what happens here tonight and uh, hopefully we see something We got about 10 minutes left of uh, visible or shoot, shooting light, shooting time. And uh, been a pretty uneventful night other than lots of pheasants out here. Anyway, we'll be back. Whole next week looks like it's in the upper 60s, almost 70s. So we might wait a week, get some cooler temps second week in November, but I don't know. It's it's November. You kind of got to go, but we'll see what the cameras tell me over the next couple days and we'll get back out when we can. Work's pretty busy this next week, so we'll do what we can, but I don't think it's going to happen tonight. First sit, can't be too upset about that, but hopefully it picks up soon.
rest of the afternoon and hopefully we see some action. It should be it should be good. Yeah, it was 68 degrees two days ago, so they say to hunt the hunt the temperature drought, and that's what we're doing today. Hopefully it works out. two and a half year old there but he's one of the bigger ones that's here I got him on camera a couple times like I said he's one of the bigger deer on this property so that's why I shot him um, but I shot him high we'll sit here for a while and give him hour or so see what happens i don't have my phone so <laughs> i got no clue what time it is so we'll give him an hour watch the video back a little bit and see what i can see but i'm pretty sure it was high but i don't know maybe it got down in there where it needed to but it looked pretty freaking high I just found the uh, arrow, and uh, I've seen worse. <laughs> um, it's got some uh, what looks to be bubbly looking blood. So, and I got I got a pretty decent trail, so I should be able to see pretty good down here where. Uh, where he crossed the mode path. Let's see what we find. We got blood here. I just found some more blood here. I'm I'm really colorblind, and it's really hard for me to see this stuff. But I, I can see it when it's. When there's considerable amount, I lost the big leaf with some, but there's some little specks in here. It was a there's the there's the big leaf right there. So I think he looks like he crossed here. I'll go over there on the other side and see if I can pick it back up. All right, so I've made it. I've made it over the creek. I've made it about 10 yards. Finally found some more. Now what? I mean, it's here. All right, I got five foot more. I at least made it up the bank. Got some blood there. Um, I'm guessing this is my out. Boom! F yeah! F yeah! Alright. Yes! Yes! Man. I was so bummed. I've, 
I've had so many times like that where you don't find them. And for me, <laughs> being hard to, for me, it's hard to see the color. And I honestly can't believe that I, uh, I can't believe that I walked, I had to have walked right by him. Oh, that's a relief. And I can drive right here. That's even better. Oh my God. What a, what a deal. I know he's not a, he's not a giant, but you know, after, after three years not tagging a buck, not having those sticks, I don't care how big he is. <laughs> He's big enough. He's big enough. You know, it's he's one of the bigger ones that I've seen here and they just I know he'd get he'd get killed during shotgun season and I I've, I've had so many bucks this size and they just never show back up. And I always kick myself for in January when I'm eating the tag that I didn't just take that one. That's a relief. I'm gonna go grab the truck and uh, we'll be back. To, we'll come back and get him. So a little history on this property. It's about 80 acres in northeast Iowa. Um, it might not even be that big, but 80% of it is CRP and it's just got this little finger of timber and other than that it's pretty much on an island the closest there's there's a chunk of ground that's pretty pretty big um, to the south but uh, it's pretty much on an island so there's not a whole lot of whole lot of traffic period and then definitely not a lot of daylight traffic uh, but like I said that's one of the bigger deer that we've got on the property so I'm happy with him we're gonna try to get across the creek we'll pick him up All right guys, so here he is. Really nice deer for, for me. Um, I'm super happy to have him. Super happy I found him after what I thought was a really bad shot. Uh, it must've just been the angle that saved me. Um, he, he went a ways and I I probably spent an hour tracking him. Thought I, thought I wasn't gonna find him and eventually I did. Um, he, he wasn't 20 yards from the creek where I, where I thought I really did lose him, but uh, Super happy to have him. Um, my kids will be happy. There's deer sticks and deer jerky at home. But uh, thanks for thanks for watching.